What's up, YouTube? Dead the Kid 51 here. It's been a long time since I brought a video to you guys. Um, this is gonna kind of be a twofer. Um, first part of the video is just kind of giving my current subscribers a update on me. It's probably been about a year since the last time I posted a video. It's been super busy, super busy with stuff. Um, the business, the kids, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, the second part of the video is going to be introducing myself to the YouTube pipe community. Um, so for those people in the YouTube pipe community, um, I guess, uh, you know, just hang on for a bit. You know, I don't mean to drag you guys on, but, you know, kind of a little update for my current subscribers. Um, what I've been up to, pretty much a lot of the same stuff, just in a larger scale. Been doing a lot more work, a um, lot more canvases, um, several bikes. Uh, what else I got going on? Logos, a couple of things going on. I'm back in school. Um studying digital design um my current canvas painting this is here this is a 832 ford uh ford coupe uh, that i'm doing um it's an actual existing car. Uh, it's, this canvas here is for a uh, it's for a client. He's giving it to a friend of his as a gift. Um, so that's the friend's car. Uh, this here is the actual photograph that I'm referencing or working from. <clears throat> so that a couple other canvases I'm working on a large canvas up there that I didn't actually grab to bring down for the video but it's there um, what else I got going like I said I've done logos I've got tons of sketches and designs here for other clients and stuff so that's pretty much what I've been up to um, just been really busy haven't really uh, haven't really picked up the camera and recorded anything just because I don't have, um, I, I, I got a new computer, so I, I don't really have the ability to, um, what's it called, to edit any of my videos. So I, I just didn't want to do a video like probably this one's going to be in it, be drawn out and long and stuff. So I just haven't really, I've been watching everybody's video, not everybody's videos, but I'm watching a good grip of videos. Um, and just really enjoying everybody's stuff. Um, and uh, very recently, um, jumping into the second part of this video, very recently I've uh, picked up a new hobby of pipe smoking. Um, so for the YouTube pipe community, uh, pipe smoking community, um, Excuse me while I drinking Sam Adams uh, winter lager. Excuse me, I keep looking back. My kids are behind me taking a nap. Um, what was that? Oh, so for the people in the YouTube pipe community, my name's Ed the Kid Fifty One. Um, I should have probably introduced myself at the beginning of this video, but but uh, I'm a uh, as you can see by the paintings I show, I'm a freelance artist um, and illustrator. I'm a freelance airbrush artist and illustrator. I do anything from logo designs to airbrushed canvases, uh, airbrushing on motorcycles. Um, a lot of you guys in the YouTube pipe community, I have a lot of you on Instagram. So surf through Instagram or look back at a bunch of my old videos and see a couple of stuff that I've done. Um, so just kind of like a quick, in a nutshell, of how I got into pipe smoking. Um, well, my dad, when I was very young, was a pipe smoker and doesn't do it any really anymore. Um, he's a big cigar guy. And uh, I 
was a very big cigar guy for about 12, uh, yeah, about 12 years, 12, 13 years. Um, recently, it's been very difficult for me to get back into, to get to, to smoke cigars, not get into it, but to smoke cigars. Um, reason being is uh, I'm a freelance artist. And um, before I was a freelance artist, I was a construction worker. And um, I was able to smoke on my lunch breaks, on, on the job, on the way home, on the way to work, whatever. Um, at the time, my wife and I, we also had a, a house with a garage, which is where I pretty much did a lot of my smoking too when I was at home. Um, well, since I started working for myself and resigned from doing construction due to back injuries and, and health issues, um, had to do a lot of cutting back. We downsized from a house to an apartment. I work from home. Um, I find it very difficult to have the time to smoke a full cigar. And I just hate the way a cigar tastes after you, 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 you know, you shut it off, clip it and relight it. I just don't like the way it tastes. It's got like a burnt taste almost and a little stale. I just don't like it. So, uh, on top of that, financially buying bundles of cigars, getting, you know, being able to find cigars, um, not necessarily find cigars, but being able to get, uh, cigars or, you know, spend eight, nine, ten dollars on a cigar, uh, on a regular basis, owning, you know, while owning my own business is, you know, financially just isn't smart. I'd rather put that money back into the business or into the family and the kids. Um, so with that being said, I have a few friends or one friend in particular that smokes a pipe a lot. Um, and a couple others that do it on occasion and, it got me thinking, you know, maybe I can load a pipe while I'm walking to the store or out for a walk with the kids or at the park with the kids. I can pack a pipe, smoke a bowl, enjoy having a smoke and not have to worry about wasting money on a cigar or how long I'm going to be out to smoke it or, you know, you know, the craving of, of wanting a smoke, but, you know, not having any sticks to smoke. Um, I find... Being a pipe smoker or smoking pipe, it's fairly inexpensive. I'm sure it can get very expensive when you get to that super extreme um, level, which uh, I can see myself getting there, getting there eventually. But right now, I'm still learning. Um, man, I want to say I'm probably doing this about two weeks. Uh, so here's my first pipe. It's a uh, Missouri Mirschkam. Washington. Um, I enjoy this pipe. I really do for my first pipe. I, I, I like it. I like the way it feels. Nice and light. Um, it smokes very good. Uh, I'm not a very flashy person, so when it comes to spending money on super expensive pipes, although a lot of them are very, very nice, and there's a lot of uh, pipe builders out there on YouTube and Instagram that got beautiful pipes that I would love to just drop hundreds and hundreds of dollars on but unfortunately um, I don't have that right now to do but it's in the works it's in the plans to do um, so this is my first pipe I'm currently the owner of two pipes but we'll get into the second pipe in a little bit because um, within this video I'm going to do what you guys call a yabo or a mail call as I would perceive it but you guys call it a yabo so I got a Yabo coming up. Um, so this is my first pipe, Missouri Mirschkamm, uh, Washington, straight pipe, uh, straight stem, sorry. My first tobacco is also Missouri Mirschkamm, uh, Great Dane. Really, really like this. It's my first tobacco, um, but I really, really like this. I like the way it tastes. It's got a really good room note. It's got a really good beard note, even though I don't really have a beard. Um, but my wife says she can smell it on the little bit of facial hair that I do have, and she kind of likes it. So, uh, I think it was in Aristocobs, one of Aristocobs videos that I saw that he was saying that he can judge a good tobacco based on his wife. Uh, if she doesn't say anything about the way he smells, she likes it. If she says you stink, she doesn't like it. So I'm going along with those lines. I really like this one. My second tobacco is a, uh, I named it Staten Island House Blend. 
and um, I bought it from a, it's a house blend from a tobacco shop out in Staten Island by my parents' house. I don't remember the name of the shop, and there was no label on the bag when it gave it to me, so I just named it Staten Island House Blend. Um, this is okay. It's not bad for two bucks for the ounce. It's not bad. I've, I've had a bowl or two of it. It's not bad. Um, but I'd rather go to this. So this is what I've been smoking. Um, so that's that. Now, I've met a bunch of people uh, through Instagram, through uh, YouTube, just conversated very briefly. Um, just want to mention some names of the people that I've watched their videos or interacted with through YouTube or on Instagram. And I'm only going to mention a few. This is just what came off the top of my head. I wrote a list here, but it was real quick before I started this video. Um, gentleman by the name of Cisco. Uh, he's got some gorgeous pipes. Um, seems like a very cool dude. He's out on the West Coast. Um, Grandpa Smoking Bones. Um, I like watching his videos. Um, talking about country music and just pipe smoking in general. I was watching one of his videos this morning where he uh, he uh, he was smoking a, a blend that he made. Uh, Mississippi Sugar, I believe it was called. Um, another one is Stogie Farts. Love his videos. Um, was watching a bunch of his uh, how to smoke how to how was it how to smoke a pipe for beginners or something like that. His series really enjoyed that. Thank you for putting that up. Um, the Daggers love their videos. Love them on Instagram. They're pretty dope. Um, Skeletal Piper. He's got some pretty cool videos. Love his photos on Instagram as well. Uh, Metamorphosis, Metamorphosis, um, or the Sarge, love his videos and his photos also on Instagram. And there's tons of other people I watch too, but these are the names that have stuck in my head or I've watched their videos very recently. Um, it's another person I want to mention. Um, he's also on Instagram and on YouTube, gentleman by the name of, M of Empire State Piper or Jose. Um, awesome, awesome guy. Lives not too far from me out here in the Bronx, New York City. Um, we haven't actually linked up yet to have a smoke, but we text back and forth uh, for quite some time now and shooting back and forth on Instagram. Um, and he actually sent me a Yavo, which is pretty cool. Um, hooked me up with a ton of samples of some stuff just so I can get my palette going on to what I like and don't like as far as a, a, a beginner pipe smoker. Sorry, move this light over. Um, he also gave me a really, really cool pipe. Um, it's a corn cob pipe. It's got a really, really cool stem or bit. I'm sorry. Um, I really dig that. That's pretty cool. A little egg shaped. Um, it's used. It's been smoked, but it's quite okay. It's free, and I really, really like the way this looks. Um, I really like this one. All right, yeah, feels good. Yeah, you know, this one sometimes can get a bit heavy or in the way as I'm speaking. This one, it's got a nice feel to it. I like the the wide mouth there. Feels good. All right, yeah. So that's that. Um, also hooked me up with a tamper, which I neglected to get. Um, when I ordered my, my, uh, Washington. So this was, this will definitely come in handy. Thank you. Um, and he also sent me a bunch of samples of some tobacco. So I'm going to show you some of the tobaccos that I got, which is pretty cool. Um, this one is Frog Morton on the Bayou. Um, I haven't really tried any of these. I just opened up the package a little while ago. So that's that. I got a uh, Dunhill early morning pipe, which is pretty cool. And then a bunch of little Ziploc baggies, which I got actually sitting in my humidor right now. So I don't have any place to put. So this one is uh, Orlix. Uh, Orlix. Can't really read what the rest, what else was he wrote there. But uh, I guess that's what, what's called a flake. Um, 
we got here. This one is uh, Turrish Berg and Company. Hobbit's Weed. This one smells pretty good. So, and then I apologize about not pronouncing names very well. My reading skills aren't the greatest, so I apologize. Um, Stone Heaven. Um, says here, very good, hard to find. This is also a flake. What else we got here? Um, and I'm reading all this for the first time. So, Northwoods, Boswell, Boswell's Northwoods. In English, wrote down there. So, there we go. What else we got here? Ooh, Mississippi River. This is the stuff that uh, this is the stuff here that um, what's the gentleman's name? Uh, Grandpa Smoking Bones was uh playing with this morning on the video I saw this morning. So I got a little bit of that. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Um. I've heard a lot of people try wanting to try this or trying this and liking this, so I'm excited to try this. Um, here's another flake. Here we go. What's this? Bold Dark Fire. Flake there. Vanilla Cream Flake. Hmm, that sounds that sounds very good. What was that? What else we got here? Luxury Navy Flake. Interesting. There you go. Oh, what else we got here? I think that says Larry's Blend. Larry's Blend. So, Larry's Blend. That one smells good. I think that this is the last one. This one says Lane One Q. Oh, interesting. I, I just ordered a whole sack of a whole not a whole sack. I think I ordered like four ounces of Lane One Q. Mm, I can't wait. Mm, that actually smells good. Mm, interesting. So Lane One Q. So there goes my Yabo, my introduction to the YouTube pipe community, and a quick little update of where I've been. Um, this is uh, Ed the Kid Fifty One owner of Mad Customs Airbrushing, um, sitting in my, my studio, as I like to call the Mad Studio, um, wishing everybody a wonderful day, uh, it's a beautiful day here in the Bronx, even though it's supposed to get cold the next couple of days, um, you're going to be seeing more videos to me, I'm coming back YouTube, uh, showing more of my artwork, uh, smoking some more cigars, just real quick in case you guys are wondering, I'm in my apartment right now filming this, so... I don't smoke inside. I usually go downstairs in the front of the building or take a little bit of a walk or something to smoke. So um, maybe one of these days I'll take out a smoke. I'll pull my phone out, record myself, and everybody here in New York City will think I'm a weirdo because I'm talking to my phone. Um, but it's okay. Um, it's for you guys on YouTube and the uh, Pipe Smokers community. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much pretty much it. Um, I'm going to kick back, watch some cars with my boys or actually they both just fell asleep again they were napping me talking woke them up and now they're sleeping again so i guess i'm gonna go watch cars by myself i'm gonna enjoy my samuel adams winter lager and pretty soon get ready to cook dinner um the life of a freelance artist and stay-at-home dad um well there'll be more more to come for me you guys love life. Stay mad. Ed the Kid 51 here calling out.